Hi, good afternoon everyone. All right, so here I am to teach you Angular standalone components. My name is Dhananjay Kumar. I'm creator of NG India. And I'm here to teach you Angular standalone components. It's, we don't have choice as going forward. We have to create our uh, Angular components which are not part of any modules. So agenda of my talk is, We'll cover all these topics. It looks like a lot, but not. Uh, it's very easy, and it should be easier for us. Once again, uh, I'm founder of Geek97, creator of NG India, and you can reach out to me for those three things. Uh, <coughs> but before I move further, I have a very important suggestion for you. It is one of the most important suggestion I can give you for the day, and. The suggestion is <laughs> So to get your confidence I have to remove this and then let's start coding all right So here external components are not part of any ng module I'm sure all of us, when we start learning Angular, the first thing which we learn is we create a module and then we create a component. So now standalone components are the component which are not part of any module are called standalone components. Means when you create a component, you do not have to pass it in the declaration array of any modules. So now a standalone component can finally say that is done, finally I'm free free of modules. Now when, we t when I talk to developers about a standalone, they think we have only a standalone components. We have a standalone, pi standalone pipes, we have a standalone directives. Uh, directives components are actually a type of directives. So we have three types of directives in Angular. A structure directive, attribute directive, and components. So now you can create a component, you can create a pipe, you can create a directive which are not part of any module. And we call them standalone component pipes or directives. Another common question is that, that whether can we use, and when I meet you people in my trainings or in other events, common questions are that, okay, can we use a standalone component inside another normal module-based component? Or can we use a module-based component inside a standalone component? And those type of questions. Answer of those questions are, we can very much use a standalone component inside a module-based component, and very much use a module-based component inside a standalone component. If it is module-based component, then all component directive and pipe dependencies would go in the uh, go in the declaration array. And if it is a standalone, uh, and all the modules dependency would go in imports array. For standalone components, every dependency would go inside imports array. Now, to create a standalone component, these are the commands. Starting Angular 14, you can go and say that NGC product and put a flag standalone. It should create a standalone component for you. For pipe, put flag standalone. It should create a create a, uh, a standalone pipe for you. Keep in mind, this is starting Angular 14, not before that. If you have decided to adopt a standalone across your application, you can go ahead and change the semantic as well. And in your uh, Angular.json file, you can uh, put the semantic that, hey, create a component or pipe or directives. A standalone true, then you don't have to use that flag. You do NGGC product, and that product is uh, a standalone um, <coughs> component. So, so semantic and command that is clear. Now, when you how you bootstrap a standalone application? Because I know that how we have learned that we in the main .ts we pass the module name, and in main module we pass in the bootstrap property pass the component name, and in this way our Angular application bootstraps. But now there is no module, then how would you bootstrap your application? And this is the syntax for that. So here let's say that uh, here I have 
So here I have created our application. I have this module. What I'm going to do, usually in this module, you see that you have this bootstrap app component. And in the main.ts, right here, you pass here that uh, this syntax, which makes sure that you are uh, bootstrapping through app module. Now what I'm going to do to convert this application, this Angular 15 application, such that we bootstrap through a standalone component, I go ahead and say that, hey, delete this app.module.ts for me. So right now I don't have app module in my application. I deleted that in main.ts here. I would say that, okay, get rid of that and get rid of that. And just to save time, what I have done here, so just to save time, I'll just copy paste my code. So here, uh, what to import, to bootstrap, what you need to do, just take it here. And here you can say bootstrap application. And in bootstrap application, you are passing the app component, which is your main component. Then the providers, you are saying that if you want to use HTTP client module, you are using the syntax import providers from, then passing the HTTP client module. Then you need to use browser animation module. Here, and I have not created the router yet, so I'll get rid of this. import <clears throat> so we have to import it from HTTP module so I'm just showing you that how easy it is now the learning curve is not that much it's exactly the same you have been creating uh, you have been creating that uh, your normal angular application before angular 14 I'll say that hey HTTP client module and browser you remember in which module we have browser animation module anyone let me check that. So browser animation module is in the browser animations itself. <laughs> All right, so this is done. Now our application, when we run that application, that application is a standalone application. One last thing what I need to do is I need to go here and say that, hey, this is a standalone and this is true. Now this is the main component, so it may, it may depend on routing models and forms module and all that. Just go to imports, keep in mind there's no declaration, no module, and here I can say that, okay, I need maybe reactive forms module, I need maybe router module, so you see that how I'm passing here uh, those dependencies which I need in the main component. Usually what you do, like if you go before Angular 14, you, your uh, basic uh, unit you think is modules. You lazy load modules, you create shared modules, you create feature modules, you add dependencies in modules, you create a service and then maybe you are using this any provider such that you have separate ob independent object of your service for all lazy loaded modules and all that. So our, as uh, uh, Thomas just has taken the talk that all, all our maintain model is around module. And I, I would be not wrong if I go back and say that we used to think that modules are the basic, basic building blocks of Angular application, but now there's no module. Starting Angular 14, you can have modules option. The application which is in front of you does not have any module. So we have to switch our mental model. We need to switch that, okay, now how to build application. So in the world of module, what we need to do? So what we used to do, lazy load modules. So now we need to see how we can lazy load in world of where we don't have modules. I know lazy load modules, lazy, load, lazy loading of modules. One of the most important interview questions, right? Yeah? Yeah? Interviewer also know only lazy load models? <laughs> and a student also know only lazy loading models, right? So now how we can do that lazy load? Now there's no module, right? They may ask you, not for the job interview, but maybe your client interview. So to lazy load, uh, what we do here, Let's say you want to um, lazy load. I'll, just to save time, I'm going here. So this syntax is clear, bootstrapping is a standalone component. Uh, 
then um, here you are passing that import and passing that all the modules which are required in the app component then here I have created the routes and again keep in mind that before Angular 40 like in the world of module based Angular application your uh, routes are also a module right we call it routing modules you create that modules by default Angular gives you name app.route.module.t is the file name and then you uh, import that using dot for root inside your app module here we don't have modules so how we will work with routing you just need to go and create a file called let's say that app.routing.t is no module and your route should look like this there's no module in the bottom everything is same only the bottom at rate ng module has gone and you have this path home login and all and then you are passing this module app routes in the main.ts file imports providers providers from router module for root app routes besides these you can pass other parameters like a scroll and hashtag strategy and everything so in this way you can add a normal route uh, with a standalone components if you had to lazy load a component the route this is this was not possible before if I had to lazy load a single component I had to add, I had to put that inside a module and then lazy load the module or starting angular 12 we had an option of imports I can import that component using import a statement inside a async of it inside a async function and call that now uh, by standard component you can lazy load a component through route as well it is not part of any module or anything so the screen uh, the syntax you see on your screen that I, if I go to greet slash greet load the component greet dot component it's, it's as simple as that so you can lazy load component with routes if you have to lazy load child routes like that was a single component but if you have to lazy load the whole child routes this is the syntax use uh, load component syntax and this grid dot component uh, grid dot grid dot component uh, I guess this syntax is wrong uh, so it should be the routing file name I'll show you the syntax uh, in the code and it will lazy load the routes for you if you have to, to do the dependency injection you can pass that in the providers uh, you can use uh, in the providers array you can use the prov uh, use your use class use existing use value and use factory as the way you have been using that in other components so this talk is mainly to give you a confidence that stand alone components or module-less Angular world does not have a lot of learning curve. It's exactly the same which you were doing, have been doing on Angular 6, 8, 12, the version you are working on. Just a little bit tweaking here, you need to know how to lazy load now, not, a, not a module now, a, a route now, how to lazy load a component and in fact these providers and a huge class they are exactly the same as it was, uh, as it was in the module based application. So what you do, you lazy load, you do dependency injection, you create a component, you change semantics, these things pretty simple, you learn that and if I show you in a code here so here I have in the books component so what I have done here I have created a book routes which is going to be the child routes when I go to book simple route and then if I go to app.routing.ts here you see that I'm saying that books load children and then it is loading in line number 28 so it's the child child route lazy loading so so that's there um, you can use the functional route guard covered by general you can use uh, uh, you can use uh, inject function and all to make your application completely the modern angular application line number 23 what it is doing it is lazy loading a single component so this is pretty much here and I have created a, because everything is same so here I have created a small demo for you so here we are and um, let me go ahead and run this application and it is running on 4200 So here I have all these which I shown you but let me go to this image 
And here I'm going to image, and I hope my internet is working. And I hope you like this demo. So here I'm saying that, tell me what image you want to generate. A poet searching love on Instagram. Want to see how ChatGPT creates image for that? Let's go. It will take a little time because it is hitting the um, open, open AI uh, endpoint. And uh, it is going to generate image depending on my internet. And it is generating something. And this is how internet thinks that a poet is searching love on Instagram. Let's do that. Um, it's completely standalone. Let's do that one last that uh, programmer is lost in mountains but very happy and in peace. You can keep framework war in big cities. All right, let's see what it does. I guess that image was good. So here we are hitting that. I should have put the loader here. <laughs> this is very complex messaging, so it taken some time. And here he is. And I guess these two red are Angular and React <laughs> in his bottom, right? So we, as a JavaScript lover and chat GPTs are on the same page. So standard is easy topic. On the purpose I took easy topic that I want you to understand that there's no much learning curve. And uh, Thomas already uh, covered the mental model behind that. So once again, thank you so much. Attend talk, talk to the speakers, and thank you so much. You are a great crowd.